Well, I was running forecast later as the day goes on. It's uh, 7.30 and I've just hit the Mersey River on our haunts down the lower area. A lot of trout surface feet and break the surfs everywhere here, but it's just a matter of where they'll be on the take. Yeah, they're everywhere up through there. There must be a fair bit of insect life on the water. But I'm, I'm heading downstream for all that to push over here. Uh, uh, yeah, probably a good 15 to 20 minute walk and then I'll fish my way back up. So I'll have a couple of flicks here before I go, before I head down. There's one rising up there. And I've just got a copper ugly, a copper of a black view on at the moment. I'll, I'll probably go for a bug spinner or a uh, ugly furia. We'll see how we go. I doubt I'll be having to fish through here next next season. The way this thing's growing here, willows have taken over the area, and uh, this is the only way I can get the river down from this side. It's, it's starting to really take off and get overgrown. So. Anyway, the river's not too far away, I can hear, I can hear running water, so we'll carry on. Right, I'm here, and I'll have a few casts and work this side of the river, and as always, like you've probably seen in other videos here, I'll cross the river just up there on that, just on this bend here, and then wade right down that bottom part and fish my way back up from down there. So there we go. Yeah. The river's starting to build up out there. I uh, had two follows, no hits. Um, tried the Agli Fury, nothing. Went to Stonefly, that's uh, March Brown, sorry. Had the two follows on that. Uh, no aggression shown. So then I went for a, um, then the Stonefly. Nothing. So I've gone back to the uh, size one March Brown now. And I'm gonna fish, I was on that opposite side of the river there. Now I'm, I've crossed over, I'm gonna give this Stretch a barrel here and see what happens. Ah, oh, there we go, we got our first fish. It's a little rainbow. I've just cast and drifting to the other bank there, and a yeah, nice little fella. Probably toss the hook in a minute, like they usually do when I mess around with, with my camera out on it. Uh, there he is, uh, we'll get him in the net and get a decent look at him. Ah, oh, buddy, there you go. On your way. Right, some pretty big raindrops just starting to bonk down on here at the moment. She's looking pretty ferocious though. There's no, can't hear any thunder at the moment, so it's good. There's no lightning around. Not as yet anyway. So I'll start making my way back up the river now. Right, it's under a nice little brown. Not big. Nice, be well conditioned little fellow, I reckon. There he is. That was the take right that. I was at Riverbank over there where that uh, massive white bubble is on the riverbank. It was got him on the second cast. First cast I had a little light bump and a hit and a miss on it and then next cast the, I went back in there and this fella's grabbed hold of it. So is it the same fish or not? I'm not sure but anyway it doesn't matter. We'll get him off and send him on his way. Oh nice solid brown on here. I had to go hard body in this deep water. The trout were following the spinner in a slower um, flow of water here, but they wouldn't take it, so I just uh, put a little unbranded olive colour silvery thing on, and that's uh, worked before here, and did again, so we'll get this fella off and send him on his way. Beautiful. Well, he's not that well looked either, he's tossed this in a minute, I reckon. Hello, Buster. Up you go. Good to go. Right, I mean, water just below my weight is a bit deep. I'm hoping I can get around this tree without having to go back down the river and get out because I can't get up the river bank here. So, anyway, that's nice. It's two browns and a rainbow so far. It's pretty happy with how the morning's gone. As you can see, this March brown's pretty beat up. All the tail parts all gone off, all the little sparklies and the brown fur that was on it. This one caught. Um, one that caught 16 trout in the meander a few days ago. And that's where it got knocked around. So it's uh, doing, doing all right again today. It's caught two trout today, brown and rainbow so far. So it's come back on again now. The hard body's gone. We're back into some faster flowing water up through here. And 
I'm not sure they're going any further, it's a lot slower up further, so I don't know what I'll do. So I might just keep call it a day. See what happens when I get up there. Oh, nothing much has happened up through there. Just that one brown on the hard body and then hooked and lost. Hooked and lost a small one on the on that hard body and I've had one hit and miss on the stone uh, March Brown up through here, but yeah, it's pretty dead now. Sun's full on the water now and it's hot. Hopefully 26 here today I think. Yeah, it's very muggy. Oh, just a little brown. There you go. Any tiddler? Well, it's legal, but not in my books, they're not. And it's just taken off that other riverbank by these uh, willows there. So get this fella in, we'll send him on his way. Right, another little fella. A bit bigger than the last one, he's just taken off that same riverbank. It uh, cast it right in under the willow there. And he just smashed it first as soon as it hit the water. Uh, there we go, a little bit bigger than the other, not by much though. And he just, just, just lipped. Oh, well, he's gone, I've left him, let him go, he's on his way. A photograph of him and put him back. Um, that's not bad now, four browns and one rainbow. There you go, see how quick you can turn around. It's struggling, then you've got two and two cars. So, a little bit of flat water up further there on the right, near the edge of the fast water. So, may pick one up out there, but I don't think I've gone any further. I'm just a bit buggered. And I've got uh, two trout reports I've got to ride up. So I just fish my way up here and um, probably call it a day. Right, I haven't moved. <laughs> Just looking at a beautiful big rainbow. I think he's going to toss it though. He's just pulling so hard in this water. I can't. Uh, ain't got much control on it at the moment. There he is. Oh, he's a lovely fish. Look at that one. It's a beauty. I'll get him in the net before he tosses it. He's only hooking that top jaw. And uh, now I'm taking a couple more picks of him. Yeah, there, there she is. Actually, it's not as big as I thought it was. It's. Um, once in the net, now pop the lure, there's the, there's the uh, lure there. And, uh, yeah, just got him in the net in time. It's about it. So I'll put him back in the drink and send him on his way. Beautiful colours in it too. Magical colours. There he goes, on his way. Yep, and over he goes, he's off. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, I just sucked a little brown in here. <laughs> Can't cross him back to the river. Crossing over the river to head back to the car and I said I'll have a couple of flicks here so I flicked the, flicked the lure straight under those willows over there overhanging the, the river there and this little fella grabbed hold of it straight off you can jump off if you want mate I'm only hooked in the nose oh, I'll get him off oh buddy on your way there you go he's good oh that's not bad Five browns and two rainbows for the day. That's uh, turned out a lot better than I thought it was. Was it now? 10 to 10. Yeah. Two hours and 20 minutes, I think it was, in the river. So pretty happy with that. I just have a couple more flicks up here before I cross the river, get right across the river. Oh. There you go, we're on the one. We'll take the direct cast up the river. Yeah, nice little fat fish, too. Yeah, nice plump little bugger. Beautiful. Now, yeah, fella, get, the, get you in the net. Yeah, very nice. Oh, now I'll pop the lure there, too. So, anyway, he's gone. Good oak. Got another one here on Cross the River. I just cast that real shallow flat water uh, where it's running off a little bit there. And <laughs> this will fill the edge ground. Look at him grabbing a side or something. <laughs> he's really grabbed hold of it. <laughs> oh dear, hey, I'll get him off. There's that, just that little little shallow water there where, it's right, where the river starts to run off before it runs into that downhill there. And uh, yeah, he's grabbed hold of it in there. He's just got another little fella. There's another cast back up under that willow there and this little tucker is come out and smashed hold of it. I'm gradually getting to the other side of the river. 
Uh, there you go. Eight browns and two brown. Here's another double, double tally. Now, I never even thought I was going to get that. I've caught four trout on standing here or something. That's how you go out, guys. Power up. On your bike. Be good. Well, I never thought I was going to do that crossing the river today. Oh, I'm just back on the edge of the river. I crossed over down there where all those willows are. And I'm heading back to the car along the side of the river here. And if you look right up there, that's where I was going to head. Right up as far as you can see up there, it's a more really good fast water. And that's where I would have liked to have gone, but not today. It's too far. And, I just, and the, the grass is, is um, nearly shoulder high all along up the other side there. So, yeah, I'm not going to do it today. I'll uh, keep, it, keep an eye on it and if they've um, cut the grass and cleared the grass here I'll, I'll probably come back up this way and have another crack at it. But not today. Right, back of the car, 25 past, 25 past 10 now, yeah, so probably a three hour session all up, but take, take half an hour off for walking, so two and a half hours in the river all up for eight browns and uh, two rainbows, so turned out a lot better than I thought it would. I really thought I was going to struggle and it was just that last last stretch of fast water gave up the trout and then the, when I crossed the river another four trout there, I couldn't believe that, I just could not believe it. Anyway, the Marsh Brown did the job again and the Kuma gear did well and just that one little hard body got, a, got the best brown of the, of the day and that's how and hooked and lost up one other on that so yes another 10 me tally, I'm pretty happy with that and I think it takes me on about 200 and 220 odd trout now, so yeah, so until next time guys, it's a tight line.